Hey everyone, today we're diving deep into the world of Flax, a powerful neural network library for JAX. Specifically, we'll be exploring NNX, a new neural network framework within Flax that offers an intuitive and flexible way to build and train your models. NNX simplifies the development process by representing objects as the familiar PyTorch interface. This allows for reference sharing and mutability, making your models feel more like familiar Python objects, similar to PyTorch. Think of it as a more streamlined and intuitive approach to building your neural networks. Now, let's talk about transformations. Both NNX and JAX offer powerful transformations like JIT for just-in-time compilation and GRAD for automatic differentiation. But there's a key difference. NNX transformations can handle functions with NNX graph objects like modules and optimizers as arguments, even if they have mutable states. This means you can use NNX to transform functions that aren't pure and have side effects. But here's the cool part. You can actually mix and match NNX and JAX transformations. As long as your JAX transformed function is pure and uses valid argument types, you can seamlessly integrate them with NNX. This gives you incredible flexibility on how you structure and optimize your code. So let's ground our understanding with a practical example. We'll build a simple CNN to classify handwritten digits from the MNIST dataset. First, we'll define our neural network using NNX modules like COMB and LINEAR, which are very similar to their FLAX counterparts. Next, we set up our optimizer and metrics using NNX.optimizer and NNX multimetric. These objects help manage parameters, apply gradients, and track performance during training. Now for the training loop. We define a train step function decorated with nnx.jet for optimized performance. Inside, we calculate the loss using nnx value in grad, update the model's parameters with optimizer.update, and keep track of our, all of our metrics. After training, we evaluate our model on a test set and visualize the results using matplotlib to see how our model performed. nnx is still experimental, but it offers a compelling vision for the future of Flax. Its intuitive syntax and powerful transformations make it a promising tool for deep learning research and development. So go ahead, give NNX a try and let us know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more JAX-related deep dives into the world of machine learning. And thank you so much for watching.